What's going on YouTube? Vlog today. I just wanted to make a video real quick. Just uh you know, I got some things pondering on my head or whatever. I'm looking at my shopping cart on Banggood. I wanted to get the uh simulation frame for the HSP 124 scale crawler. It's like a clone of the ECX crawler. I gotta go get my son a speed controller. I still haven't done that. Actually I'm gonna be going up to Nike and Hobby. And uh Gonna be going up there today to see if the speed controller came in the mail. I was also looking at a another single board computer. I'm gonna be doing some research on the Gizmo 2, maybe the uh, Panda. I think it's called the Latte Panda. Doing some uh, reviews on that and the Latte Panda and stuff. So, what I really want to check on today, what I want to talk about is the price went up. On the Orlando Hunter 2. That's what I call it, the Orlando Hunter 2, but it's called the OH35A01 kit. Jeep Rubicon. And that's gonna look nice next to my Orlando Hunter. It's gonna look real nice. Um Bam, there it is right there, the main kit. Grab that, the battery, and then the speed controller. Probably go on here and look for a radio for it, but yeah, I'm gonna for sure get this one. But I was also, I'm not really happy with ECX. As you can see, I got a lot of ECX vehicles. One, two, three, four. I got four ECX vehicles. One drama vehicle. But a lot of my ECX stuff breaks. Like, really, you know, I'm a, I'm a long-time hobbyist, RC hobbyist guy. You know, I've been playing with RC cars ever since I was 17. My very first hobby-grade RC car was the uh, Tamiya Baja Champ. I don't know if you guys remember that, but that was my first, well, I mean, not my first, but my first that I actually put together myself, and my brother didn't help me, you know, because he had clod busters and triple X's and all that stuff, and uh, the Tamiya Baja Champ is what got me into it, and then I went from Tamiya to HPI to, you know, Traxxas to, you know, all the other names associated, and uh, this ECX, I thought they were a good company because they were made by Horizon Hobby. And, you know, that's the same people who owns Losi. So, you know, I bought a lot of their uh, RC cars. A lot of their RC cars, like the Temper. Um, the Nikehead battery for the speed controller sucks. You probably want to run like a one-cell LiPo on it. I mean, I know it's got like a two on the speed controllers. They can, they can handle up the two-cell LiPos. But I have a speed controller here. And this speed controller is for my other son's Ruckus. Out of the little 122nd, 21, 24 scale ruckus. And so I put that inside the rock crawler, but it does not um, perform well. It doesn't even like have any torque. There's no brake drag or anything like that. So it's just kind of like a normal RC car, like a racing RC car. You know, it comes out of a monster truck. So I'm going to put that back in my son Adrian's um, ruckus, and then I'm going to go today and go get a speed controller for the temper. I do want to check out this Brigade. Um, it's 112 scale, 1 1.9. I guess that's the tire size, which is actually pretty cool. It looks like it's got a ladder frame, but when you click on it on their website, yeah, 179 retail price, 199. That's all they give you is just one picture. You know, I mean, I've I've tried to look up on YouTube for videos and stuff for it. I don't think it's out, but that's that one. A trail truck but I want to keep it small for my course for these two and I also want to grab the Proline Ambush now I like this truck a lot more than the ECX probably because you know I've been dealing with Proline you know ever since I first started you know in the hobby grade you know they do Proline does all the awesome bodies you know what I'm saying Proline's always done the awesome bodies Look at that. They got little jack stands. That is sick. I got to get that for the Orlando Hunter. And I love the leaf springs. You know, I don't even know if there's if there's leaf springs on this one. It looks like there's coil springs. Like, if you back up, you can't see because of the tire. But, yeah, there's a little tiny roost. That's pretty cool. But, yeah, I like, I like this truck. Um, the Orlando Hunter is probably, like, one of my favorites. Out of all the little micro crawlers. I mean, you know, you got the Losi Trail Tracker, which started it all. You know, well, Losi started it all with a Mini T. Let's put that. Let's put that right. And then they vary it off in all the other variants, in different types of forms. And I'm just glad to see that the micro RC cars are getting back up on. So 
you like this pro line is 195 you can find it cheaper but i would pay 195 for this you know i've seen videos i've seen the inside of the chassis the ecx one that man that's it's like they seen pro line come out with a new car and then sangu i mean i don't know if they're probably if, you know big companies are up on that like oh this little guy came out with a company came out with another car we gotta throw out something real quick i don't know if they just did that but I'm going to be looking on banggood.com for a copy of this vehicle. I already know that there's going to be a copy just because there's a lot of copies of ECX vehicles out there on Banggood. Um, I found a copy of, let me see, I was scrolling through, you know, just scrolling through Banggood's RC car lineup, just seeing what type of RC cars they had from all their different um, stuff. And I've seen copies of not only the Temper, I've seen copies of my wife's Roos, of the ECX Roos. Um, I've even seen some copies of the Traxxas. I've seen copies of the ECX uh, Torment. Um, I've seen copies of the ECX Ruckus, like the, the, one, uh, the 118 scale Ruckus. Um, I hope this, like this, uh, like just because it's a copy, I'm really hoping that this simulation frame is gonna work on my vehicle and it's gonna give it leaf springs and everything like that. I tried to contact this guy who was, um, I think his name is Jim Fry. He makes awesome, awesome chassis, but they're all for like the low C trail tracker and stuff. Um, I messaged him to see if he could do the whiff and everything. He's like, no, I don't make one for the temper, you know. The temper tried to be a copy of the Losi Rock Crawler, but it's off on some specs. But hopefully this kit right here will get that uh, temper looking more scale. And then, you know, the Orlando Hunter, the ECX, and the Proline Ambush. So you guys, out of these three, this is the cheapest. Well, it's just a kit. You know, that's all you get. Out of these three, which one would you guys like me to see purchase first? You know, let me know in the comments. Would you guys let, like to see me get the uh, the new Orlando kit? I really want to build that. The ECX Brigade, that's kind of like third on my list. So, actually, I'll just do that like that. You know, and then the Pro Line. It's mainly to me, I'm feeling one of these two. You know, probably the, the Orlando Hunter first because it's cheaper and then get the Ambush just because I want it and I know my kids and my wife and stuff I have fun playing with this little thing um but the ECX Brigade like my wife said we've been having a lot of problems with it it just looks good I like these little felican tires that just you know and I like the little uh the little lug nuts and it's on steelies you know that just that looks dope it looks sick I like that let's see here what do they got for the like the ambush See, it's got like the beadlock rims and looks all beefy and stuff. And it's got like a little cutout where it looks like you could put a little tiny winch in there. That'd be crazy if Proline brought out a little micro winch. For sure that's going on the, uh, I'm building one for the Orlando Hunter. I just, I like this. I like this build. I like this setup. It looks real scale. And plus, it's in my size requirements. It's 125th scale. This, this is the size that I want to build in. 120th scale, 135th scale, you know, in those scales from 135 to 120th, right? So that would mean that this brigade is bigger because it's 112. I don't know, you guys. Let me know in the comments. You know, this is just me ranting on my little vlog of daily, trying to get some daily videos out there of something. Um, my keyboard incident, what happened was. When I was soldering up the uh, ports, like I said, I soldered these ports up wrong on my Raspberry Pi Zero to get another USB port. And when I stuck my keyboard in there, yeah, it burnt it out. So I plug in my keyboard into another computer. Um, all these keyboard, all this keyboard does is just light up. Like if I was to plug it into my computer now, I can't even go into the system settings. Well, I mean, I could with this keyboard and then check for a driver, but it's not even being recognized at its, as it's plugged in into the computer. I don't know if you guys understand that. So I ended up toasting this keyboard out is what I did. Like the lights come on and you can't turn them off. When you originally plugged this CM Storm style keyboard in, you have to hit this button to turn the backlight on. And when you
you plug it in, it just automatically comes on. Yeah, that's that was the reason why. Um, it's because I plugged it into my Raspberry Pi and I burnt it out. I also burned out like two of my PS3 Bluetooth controllers, which they were fake controllers. They weren't like real Sony controllers. I also burnt out my RyPi keyboard. So two keyboards and two controllers. <laughs> I'll be going later on today to go get some more stuff, more equipment and everything and try and build more Raspberry Pis. And I still got that Raspberry Pi up on the wall. Get them for a dollar at Micro Center. I don't know if you guys have Micro Centers out in your areas, but let me know in the comments. I love that store. That store is like a candy store to me. You know, it's like a kid in a dug on toy store. I gotta go ahead and take my medicine. Get ready, you guys. Do some more videos. God bless. Um, I know I've been ranting for like 10 minutes now. I'm trying to figure out a nice way to end this. God bless. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome day. And like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments on what else you guys want to see. Alright, Antoine out.